hey welcome back okay so let's add more detail to our content here okay so let me come back here to my index or home.php which is this one right here index.php it is so we have added our loop here so we are checking if this is true and then we are looping through it now we just need to add the right information that we need here okay so this is the title of the product okay so easy peasy we just put uh, something like this equals and then we say row uh, inside that row we have i don't remember whether i i get objects or what do i get here fetch object okay so they are objects so we use object notation so here we have the description and then here we have oh let me close that first and then right here let me copy this just put it there we get the price now it's up to you if you want to put dollars here that's entirely uh, you can put the dollar outside here and what else add to wish list add to cart okay so everything uh, seems uh, pretty good so let me refresh and as you can see now we have different prices here prices and the different names can be doesn't look very much like a candy beef does she women women's top women's top and so on but now let's deal with the image itself so easy peasy where is the image the image is right here but instead of putting all this here i'll remove all the text i'll just concatenate and say row row image because it's image one that we will always add as the head so apparently uh, image one isn't uh, doing its thing hmm what could be the problem well let's think about it here so let me come back to um, to our text editor shall we now if i go into the public folder you will notice that there is the uploads folder here okay now the uploads folder is directly inside the public folder and the uploads folder contains all the uploaded files okay so now the issue is we are sending this to the assets folder which is not cool it's just supposed to be in the uploads folder right in the root and let's remove theme as well like that that should work okay very nice so now at least we have actual images it's just that the first uh product doesn't have images so let's go back to our admin here right here and click edit on the very last item here and click browse so this way we can actually uh, add an image to it at least one let me click here again so now i can add uh, a few more just to uh I think I'll leave the others so that we can see how to. Uh... Uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? Let me inspect the element console. What error did we get? So we got a warning. Invalid parameter number. Number of bound variables does not match. You don't say. So what happened here again? Hmm. Okay, so let's go back to check this error out. So this error is inside Ajax product, not product class to PHP, right here. So in here it's saying the number of bound items as usual is wrong. So let me undo this that I had done here, the show query and show that so that we can see some result 
So I'll click save and check down here to see what I get. So I have image and image two. Okay, pretty good. But here in this one, I have image two, image two, but I don't have image. So why is that? Well, it's very interesting. I think I know what the problem is. So let me undo these again, redo. I think it's redo to go forward. So the problem that is there is that uh, image string is replacing whatever I had added uh, the, the first time because this is a loop. So if let's say there are two images I want to add at the same time, this is going to replace that. So what I, I sup I'm supposed to do is concatenate like this. So just put a dot over there and that should, so that we add to this every time and that should solve the problem. So let me close that and let me hit save. Okay, and as you can see, problem solved, and there we go. So I'll leave these ones empty so that we can see what happens when there's no image in the product view of our situation. So now if I refresh my page, I should get an image there, and there we go. So as you can see, we are making progress. Finally, we can see some products being displayed here, which is uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's, let's add an effect here for when we we hover on this thing so that we can know when we are hovering on an item. So let me come back to my uh, home index.php actually, right here where there's one product. Uh -huh. So the image is housed in this div right here. Okay, very interesting. So what I want is to have a div around my image right here okay so i will put the image inside a div okay let me show you why i am doing this so let me do it without the div okay so what i will do is i will um i want to put a hover effect on this thing right so i want to say something like I want to put a class name here and say product image like that. So that's a class name, product. This product image wrapper, and this is just the product image itself. So let me go to the very top. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I'll go to the header. This way this uh, style is available everywhere and not just here. So I'll put my style inside the header. So I'll put a couple of styles here. I'll say style. Yeah. So what I will do is I'll say dot product image like that. Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So what I want to do is when I hover on it, I want to, it to react. So I'll put a full colon and say hover. So one is for just the image, the other one is for the hover. So the image uh, part here just needs a transition. That's all I want. But for the hover, I want to do a transform. So I'll say transform and I'll use the scale and I'll scale it up a little bit to one point, maybe 1.5 times its original size. So refresh, uh oh, so definitely, as you can see, I have done something wrong. So let me go to the uh, index.php and uh, try to fix that. So down, down, down we go. So right here, it's because I closed this. Uh, it's automatic, it closes there. So just be careful about that. Refresh, there we go. So as you can see now, when I do this, the image grows bigger, like that. Now, the reason I wanted to put it inside a div is because if you notice, when, I, when it grows big like this, it covers the price uh, and other details that are required. So I didn't want that, so. This is why I wanted to put it inside a div. So I'll put in the div like this and then close div over here. 
Now, the div just requires a very simple style. So maybe I want to use, I'll just do it directly here and say overflow. I'll just say overflow hidden because I want it to hide everything that, uh, okay, so there we go. Now you get my, my drift. So as you can see, the image is growing, but it's not going overboard like it was doing then because it's being cut off by the div but this is still what I want. But it's happening so abruptly like this. So what I will do is go back to my header. And where is that? Not the admin header, but this one, the other one. And put a transition here so that it can transition. So I'll say transition. I'll say transition everything, just in case I add more stuff later. You can take one second to transition and use the easy ease as the algorithm so that should do it so as you can see now there we go we have this which looks uh, pretty nice when you hover on an image yes so of course you can adjust the parameters as you want it's entirely up to you okay so now uh, on the next video we're going to look at how to either crop these images or go to the single uh, product view as well. I'll see you in the next video.